Hello everyone. Well, I found this really wondrous. Others might find it uh, ridiculous. The theory of relativity. Uh, consider the fallen world and the strong delusion that we're living in after all. In 2 Timothy 2.19, uh, briefly, it says, Jesus knows who are his. And everyone that uses the name of Christ uh, depart from iniquity. So if you're uh, in Christ, Jesus knows you. You're walking with a humble testimony. You're not walking in vanity. You're seeking God's face. God's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Are you God's relative? So theory of relativity, what I did was I just took the E and the M and the C and related them to the uh, Hebrew letters, ordinal value. So the E would be He, the fifth Hebrew letter, He. The M is not only the 13th uh, English letter, but it's also the Mem, uh, the 13th Hebrew letter. And uh, the 13th Hebrew letter is basically Jesus. Uh, From our bellies will flow rivers of living water, John 7, 38. Uh, what adds to 13 in Hebrew is Abi, meaning my father. Abi, 1 plus 2 plus 10. Ahaba is love, and those letters add to 13. So in brief, Jesus is 13. And then you've got the C. Uh, of course, that's C in English, but the calf and the final calf, when appearing at the extreme left of a Hebrew word, appears like this, but is the same as this. It's the 11th Hebrew letter, calf, and instead of a C sound, we're going to go with the K sound, so this 11th Hebrew letter, Kaf, uh, K-A-F, uh, is what we're going to be looking at. So that's why we've got the He, the Mem, and the Kaf, or E equals M-C. And squaring would be reconciling. Uh, think of squaring or reconciling as uh, walking together, testifying together, coming Becoming one together, uh, speaking, hearing from the right voice, speaking into existence, right things, doing right things, avoiding wrong things, casting down imaginations to the authority of Christ and what have you. Test every spirit, 1 John 4, 1. Rebuke the enemy in Jesus' name. Plead the blood of Jesus uh, if you must on your self and your surroundings and what have you. Um, so a lot of people would say that uh, five, the fifth Hebrew letter, hey, has to do with grace. Well, think of the five wise and the five foolish virgins. Uh, that's not a percentage necessarily as much as it is a decision and a dividing line. Uh, Jesus said, many are called, few are chosen, and there's only a remnant after all. Uh, because iniquity abounds, the love of many will wax cold. you got to make sense of Daniel 12.10. Uh, the wise will do wisely, and the wicked will do wickedly when they're tried, purified, and made white. So think Matthew 25 and the five wise and five foolish virgins. So we've got to reconcile and become God's relative. Now, God's righteousness is yet to be revealed, so we don't grow weary, Isaiah 56, 1. So righteousness, or the hay, equals reconciling with Yahweh. Or what is that? Godly love equals reconciling with Yahweh. Or ultimately it is grace because rivers of living water will flow from our belly when we escape at the day of the Lord and then we go into the harvest field uh, with healing um, 
and get to do the greater works, raise the dead, render judgment, Psalm 149.9, and what have you. So the theory of relativity, are we God's relative? Uh, he's not looking for for self-serving people. He's looking for ambassadors of his love, and we've got to be of godly love, of grace. Selflessness and sacrifice, Romans 12, 1 and 2, because God's not going to give you the glory for any other reason but to help people in the future and to be a conduit of his love in the future. Amen? I mean, we pray for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. Why? Because God would that none perish and we want to save people. We want to help people in a dark world. That's just what Jesus did for us after all. See 1 John 3.16. So, hey equals mem and calf. And the calf, the C, the third letter, but instead of using uh, Gemel, which is the third Hebrew letter, which is basically the minister going along. He's the helper, the one lifting the camel. We're not going to use the Gemel. We're, we're using the calf, which uh, in Hebrew, by the way, is spelled calf, final fe. And this final fae looks like a, a closed, clenched sole or palm of a bird. So we're learning to open that palm, even in our wilderness situation, and be of the open yod hand, praising hand. Judah means praise. We want to open that hand, lift our hands, give of ourselves instead of remaining that bird in the wilderness with a clenched fist who only knows how to survive for itself, of itself, but not necessarily regarding uh, the survival of another. See Isaiah 46, 10 and 11, Job 12, 7, Genesis 49, 21, and Isaiah 49, 21. So also very interesting is uh, that Mem is a word for from, and calf, final calf, can be a word for you. So, mock is from you. So, grace, hey, uh, equals uh, what from you? Uh, reconciling with you, what comes from you? Uh, what word? What testimony? Because Elijah's got to come or God will smite the earth with a curse. Jesus said, when I return, will I find faith in the earth? So our faith is being tested. Faith is not grace. Grace is something we got to do. We got to be not a hearer of the word uh, only, but a doer indeed. So this is all a function of our testimony. Interestingly, within the word king, from uh, M and C, You've got uh, Malek. Uh, the Lamed means learning, teaching, discipleship. So in between M and C, you've got the L, Lamed, Malek, king. And also in between the M and the C, uh, Mac, uh, you've got uh, pierced. Mac, uh, Strong's 4600, the Ayin, the silent... Uh, I or fountain, again, rivers of living water will flow from our belly. So that's ma'ak. Ma'ak is pierce, to pierce, crush. When you want to check inside of something, you pierce it uh, and then pull it out to see what's inside, right? Like you would stick a toothpick in a cake to see if it's fully baked, right? See how the toothpick comes out. So also I noticed that um, the 13th letter mem and the 11th letter calf add 24. In their ordinal value, uh, we think of the 24 elders, 24 plus 24, this is like a squaring, uh, equals 48. 48 means uh, 
came to pass on the Bible number meanings list. Israel became a nation in 1948. Um, also, uh, in its gematria value, M is worth 40, cap is worth 20, so 60 uh, times 60 is 3,600, reminding me of making a chain and coming full circle. Jesus is the first and the last. He said, if you do it to the least of them, you've done it to me. So we're lifting Jesus up, John 3.14, which is pi uh, 3.1415. He said, if you continue in my word, you'll know the truth, John 8, 31 and 8, 32. So we're magnifying the law and making it honorable with our actions and words. Our testimony, Isaiah 42, 18 through 21, light is supposed to shine out of the darkness, 2 Corinthians 4, 6. And uh, so we were not raised in households where our mother and father were a preacher or an elder in the church. We were chosen from Egypt to grope for God and not unwittingly grope for the enemy and raise him up because uh, the mediator, Jesus, is not a mediator of one, but God is one. See Galatians 3.20 and Isaiah 14.14. 14. See Romans 16, 6.16 6, rather. And Genesis 3.15, the seed word warfare of our mind. And by the way, regarding squaring, once again, the 13th uh, Hebrew letter plus the 11th Hebrew letter adding to 24 in its ordinal value, if you multiply 24 times 24, you've got 576, incredibly. Um, five, grace, division, separation. Uh, we became at variance with members in our own household, and Jesus came not to bring peace, but a sword. So that magnified law is the sword that... Uh, pierces that wicked uh, uh, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, were the spirit of his mouth and the brightness of his coming. 76 means servant on the Bible number meanings list. But 576 on the Bible number meanings list means fountains and their wickedness. So the ayin, once again, is I and uh, fountains, that which was in the middle of M and C, mak, ma'ak, or to pierce in Strong's 4600. And of course, rivers of living water will flow from our belly, John 738. And we'll do the greater works when we're sent into the harvest field. Uh, we'll rescue people. We become the tree of life also. Uh, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but uh, ultimately it is a tree of life, and that's for the healing of nations. So that's also the elect bride of Christ and God's grace and mercy uh, to the world if you could receive it. And again, with the Lamed, that was Malik or king, or, or Malik is also angel or messenger. But you'll notice that also a Hebrew word that adds to 576 is uh, translated as their wickedness. So remember that light is supposed to shine out of the darkness, 2 Corinthians 4, 6. See Hebrews 11, 6 and Job 11, 6. See Job 15, 2 and 1 Corinthians 15, 2 unless you believed in vain. The creation was subjected to frustration, not by God's will, but subjected it in hope, Romans 8.20. But we're in a world of a strong delusion, and where all is vanity, Ecclesiastes 1.2. So the enemy's greatest weapon against one and all, the chosen who are called to battle the enemy as well as the world is to 
keep vanity and pride at bay because that would contribute to a testimony uh, unworthy of the definition of godly love and being God's ambassador here and in the world to come, of course. So here at Google Translate, you've got uh, ma'ak, mak. So you've got the M and the C, which is from you. So from the elect bride chosen to battle the enemy, what comes from you? A reflection of vanity or a proper testimony reflecting the nature and character of Jesus Christ who went to the cross for us? Are we humbly uh, submitting and counting it all joy in our wilderness situation, uh, waiting for our blessed hope, or do we seek to save our lives by taking some medical technology only to lose it? Because Jesus said, if you uh, lose your life for my sake, you'll gain it back again. And seek first the kingdom and all these things will be added unto you. So that's where you really got to pay attention to the scriptures and do the scriptures. So our testimony, though we feel very lowly, or even vainly believing that what we say and do doesn't matter is a trick of the enemy that you want to avoid indeed. So your testimony and your actions matter really more than most people could even possibly comprehend because it's another John 1, 1 moment in time. It's a time of Jacob's trouble being chosen, which is grace, where every man's hands is on his loins as a woman in travail. See Jeremiah 36 and 7. And then see John 1, 1. See Isaiah 29, 22 through 24. So uh, those, wills, those that will see uh, Jacob's children, the work of God's hands, that will be uh, one group, or the wise virgins, and then Isaiah 29, 24, there will be those that erred in spirit, and they will come to learn doctrine. So that's the dividing line and not necessarily half and half, just a, a remnant will be glorified at the day of the Lord, and then a hundred days later, there'll be a rapture for the repentant after the hour of trial will be saved out of Jacob's trouble, see Revelation 3.10. So uh, we're being squeezed, pierced, uh, tested, tried. Many will be purified, tried, and made white. And the wise shall understand, but the wicked will do wicked, wickedly and not understand. So remember, we're the spirit of his mouth, the brightness of his coming that will slay that wicked. That's the sword, the word, the light shining out of the darkness. Uh, see 2 Thessalonians uh, 2, 3, I believe. And uh, God said, let there be light in Genesis 1, 3. Isn't that wonderful? Genesis 1, 3, let there be light. So that's E equals MC squared, hey, mem, calf, or uh, it even kind of sounds like hammock, uh, hammock, uh, the hey, five, the M, mem, and the C of 513 and the three, E, M, C, hammock, hammock here, and it's translating the king now at Google Translate. So uh, E equals MC, the king. Fascinating, praise the Lord. Jesus is coming at once, Magda, not necessarily soon or quickly in the KJV Revelation 3.11. 
but it's a process of becoming one with him because he already came to his saints like a thief in the night, as did the enemy who came in like a flood. Isaiah 59 19 through 21. So we're raising up a standard against the enemy, but those who depart from um, in transgression in Jacob and remain that way and remain humble, we're making that covenant with God. Uh, Isaiah 59, 21, Psalm 25, 14, Psalm 147, 19 and 20, Daniel 9, 27. But uh, Makdah is at once, that's in the Aramaic uh, New Testament, Makdah, uh, at once it's translated, but it's also from sharpening or from uh, your relativity, you know, you're squaring up with Yahweh. Uh, what's your testimony going to be? See Kadad. Cad, uh, 2300, sharpening. So it's from sharpening uh, that Jesus is coming and he's glorified in his saints. Uh, Look up, you doors, you everlasting gates, and the King of glory will come in, Psalm 24, 7 through 10. So Jesus is coming at once. Uh, He's coming at a theory of relativity. Are you as relative? Do you want to become one with Jesus and go be co-heirs and co-saviors with him? Uh, see Isaiah 49.6, Isaiah 49.21, Obadiah 121. Um, we want to help the world and we want to be careful not to help ourselves only. God bless everyone. Amen. And by the way, the square root of 3 is 1.732. And in the strong, 1732 is David, meaning loving, David. Uh, think of 3 as Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And 4th would be the bride, uh, uh, where the bride is being added. Uh, Four is also earth, and four also means door. The fourth Hebrew letter is dalet for door. Uh, Think think of three and seven as uh, being uh, the warfare. 37 times 73 equals 2,701 which is the gematria value of the first uh, line of the Bible, adding up the Hebrew letters and their gematria. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. But God is still doing things, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and he will do all his pleasure. That's Isaiah 46, 10 and 11. So, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, uh, seven is the sword or the warfare. Uh, 73 means trust. 37 is uh, raising up a standard, if you will. So, uh, that's a little bit on the number three. So, isn't that fascinating? Check out Strong 1732 for yourself. David used uh, 1,000. 76 times and 76 was servant once again on the bible number meanings god bless everyone amen